Hey yo, what's up? You know it is your boy TDG in the building. Welcome back to Run That Rex, everybody. And today, before we get to, you know, killing that next dude and getting my 50 new mittens, I just want to talk about something real quick. Do you notice something different about this picture here? Give you a second, now. Give you a second. Okay, second over. Do you notice that the swordfish base where we fought Storm Eagle on is gone? Now, you may be asking me, Rex, well, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, something extra they put in, you know, just to show that, you know, it's no longer there because you blew it the fuck up. This may be true. However, that base no longer being there is going to play a really important part later in the playthrough. So, I just wanted to just let you know that, you know, things are going to be a little different and things are going to change. And also talking about things changing, let's just introduce today's Maverick. Burning no matter if you were playing Rockman X, we know him better as Flame Mammoth. Now here's the thing, just like I talked about earlier, that that shit being there is important, something we've already done earlier plays a part in the stage we're about to go to. And I'll explain it when we get there, but I just want to set the stage for that. So, without any further ado, let's read up on today's Maverick. Ah, just need to take, take a breath there. Flame map. Height 10.5 feet. Weight 719 pounds. Attack. Fire wave oiling and the jump press. Wonderful. But luckily for me, this won't take any long because I have the storm tornado. Which happens to be your weakness, which I don't really get. Now that I think about it, is that he shoots fire, that wind and wind and fire don't mix so i really don't understand like how the storm tornado is your weakness but i don't even care i don't even care to think about it or explain it but you know we do what we gotta do now remember what we talked about a minute ago about when you do certain things other certain things happen which is a cool feature of mega man x you see our floor it's covered in snow wanna know why i put a bullet in icy pingo we go head when you do that and you come to Flame Mammoth stage, it puts this ice on the floor and it turns what used to be lava into frozen ice so that you can traverse it. Now, the thing is an item we are going to collect later hinges on us doing this. So that's important too. And look, we're already at the base. Now if I can make it now if I can just make the damn jump without embarrassing myself. Or they're taking way too long. Okay. There we go. Don't fall off. Yeah, don't fall off X. Thank you, sir. Daddy! What's up, Pop? What's going on? Okay. This capsule contains a part which will increase the capability of your X button. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Now Congratulations, you now have super me, and you can do this now. Yay, I'm awesome. Now, we're not going to talk about that. We'll talk about that at the at the end of this today because I really don't think, you know, that it's a, it's a thing we should really talk about now because it has a lot to do with boss order with what we've just done here. So, so just remind me when we're done with this today to remind me to remind you that I have to talk about the that I have to talk about the, the Super X Buster or the Dual Buster well, that's what they call it in the next two anyway I don't know what the hell I'm calling it or no other doesn't matter but yeah have to grab one other thing okay me head oh and look see told you about the feet thing yesterday no thank you and energy tank acquired I love the shotgun knife. It's, it's like for real, it's a really underutilized weapon I see when people play the game because combined with an Excel shot, the shotgun knife does a lot of damage and it also gets that, that blowback afterwards. So, oh damn, I get hit by that and I almost died. 
Woohoo! Yeah, that was Now, well, we're reaching the end, and I hate this part. I really like you. And you're dead. Oh, wow. And, well, that's it. That's pretty much the lame mammoth stage. You know, I'm maybe what I'll do is I'll come back to it like in a video before we go to Sigma and show you what the stages look like before they're altered over when you defeat a certain mammoth. But here's Flame Mammoth. You know, there's some fun stuff about Flame Mammoth we'll get into later. But you know, more likely than not, I'll, I'll cover that in the in the boss rematches. Just like the information I forgot to tell you about Storm Eagle yesterday because I'm an idiot. What? See, look at that. Quick as T drive. I could have defeated with the X Buster, but I don't have time for that. And neither do you. Even though I love wasting your time because you guys are so awesome. Mission accomplished. And with our victory, we get the fire wave. Now, the fire wave really quickly as a weapon, it's a real cool close-up weapon. So, you know, it, it, I'm going to be using it a lot in the next stage we go to because it's really good for deleting a lot of the enemies there. And, of course, i got to get out my handy pen and pad so I can write down our latest password because, you know, that's what we do on this show, write down passwords, you know, killing trees with paper and all that shit. But, done and done. Oh, but we ain't done yet. Got something to do. Give me a second. Yeah, we got to go see about this penguin again. Because if you remember the second video, there was something. Oh, why the hell am I not using the storm tornado? Uh, storm tornado. Love this weapon. It's so fucking broken. It's like, once you get this weapon, you there is really nothing you can't really do against most normal enemies. So it's like, yo, I, I like, I love the storm tornado. I'm like, it's like, I wouldn't sit up here and like say it's on the level of a metal blade or or something like that. But it is a powerful weapon. It takes out your enemy. You know, not really that much of fuss about it. I just love it. Well, guess we in the time of any. Good event, like I said, to show up a fire wave because look how powerful this thing is. You just have to be up close to use it. it even its charge ability is real cool. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Can't shoot it with the buster. Oh, but I can shoot it with that! Bingo! The only other way you can get up here. The only way, the only other way you can destroy those is with a mech punch, and I think there is a tool that's the way to get up here and punch it with a mech punch so you never have to come back to this stage again. But, probably the first and last time, you'll see me use the escape unit because there's no reason for me to finish the level. Oh! Oh, and here's another password. I didn't really even think of that, that I will be altering again that month that I will need to write down another password, but whatever the hell. 1728 8516 Oh yeah. Well, now we're done for the day, everyone. Maverick 3 down. Now, this is the part of the game I talked about in video one, where things go a bit different, and also to explain the dual bus and stuff, so I'll do it all at once. Here's the thing. Storm Eagle and Flame Mammoth in boss order are supposed to be the last two maps that you defeat. And here's why that's interesting. In order to get in order to get the super mitten, you have to have the headbutt and the and you have to have a headbutt and a dash boost in order to get them so you can break the brick and have a high enough jump to dash up there and break that brick. Here's the thing though. Spoiler alert. In order to beat the game, 
you have to have the super mitten. So if on the off chance you don't pick up the super mitten from Flame Mammoth, you get it in the first and you get it in the first Sigma level, regardless of what you've done to that point. Not going to say how, but most people know, but you know, for people who are watching this and never played the game before, I don't want to spoil that part. But that little spoiler is that no matter what, after the first Sigma stage, you will have the dual buster. That's just something that happens. And how that tie and like I said, that just ties all into boss order is that you're not supposed to have these items to the end of the game, but because I jumped around and got three out of four armor parts already, you know, it's just important that, you know, that we state that as what we're doing and how it's going down. From this point on, usually, honestly, I would go after this fellow and I will resume boss order going around. However, which I will keep to myself, is that I'm going to hop around a little bit because this is like the like the first or second time I've actually, you know, done this boss order because I saw it in actual speed run and looked at it like what the what this boss order will do for me is that I won't have to do any more backtracking for the rest of the game. And that's important because I don't want to sit up here and play a stage after a stage before I end the video. And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? They try to condition it in as small as possible and as less videos as I can to get through the game. So that's important. The Maverick in question, though, that'll stay with me until next time. So you guys tune in for that. You know, like I said, three Mavericks down, three armor parts, and we going to get busy. So, you know what it is. It's your boy, TDG. Run that race, man. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace out.